Hamill Cothery, the Chief Medical Officer for Dignity Health in Central California Division, going to give us the latest on the pandemic here at home and across the country. Dr. Cothery, thanks so much for being with us. Well, thanks for, once again for having me, Maddie. All right, let's talk about this new record. Both the U.S. and our own state, California, set new records yesterday for the number of cases diagnosed. 45,557 cases reported yesterday across the country. Uh, in California, we saw uh, more than 7,000 reported yesterday. Um, what do you think about these numbers? Are they disturbing to you? Uh, yeah, absolutely. You know, anytime you see a spike like this, it definitely is disturbing. You know, and this is an aftermath of several things. We've got more testing in place, so we are seeing a lot more positives. We also opened our cities, um, so a lot of that's happening. Um, and then, obviously, a lot of the, you know, we've had a lot of protests. You know, so there's a multiple factors, the multiple factors that play into this. Let's talk about, though, the president's, uh, you know, line that he has. He's both tweeted and he said it at rallies. He said it's because we're testing so much. That's why we're seeing such a surge in cases. Well, well there definitely plays, you know, some role in, in the amount of test positives that we're getting. But I don't think that accounts for every single test positive that's out there. Um, I, I don't think we should take the testing capacity away from us. We would like to know and we'd like to be able to trace back you know, where these positive cases are. So we can quarantine those people and, you know, keep those guys safe from other people. In an update on Tuesday, Dr. Fauci said, uh, talking about the vaccine prospects, that he was cautiously optimistic that a COVID-19 vaccine would be available by the end of this year or even early 2021. What needs to happen so that a vaccine is ready and available? Where are we? Well, several things. First, we got to figure out an antidote for the virus that will help boost our immune system. Um, and then we've got to go into some clinical trials to make sure the vaccine is safe for human testing as well. I, I don't believe it's going to be here this year. I believe it's going to be here 2021. Even that, though, would be a record timeline for a vaccine. And Dr. Fauci um, on Tuesday said, we're taking financial risks, not risks to safety or risks to the integrity of the science to get this ready that quickly. But still, how can Americans feel safe uh, and ha in taking a vaccine that was developed on a timeline that we've never seen before? Absolutely. You know, and it goes back to our antibody testing that we have currently. You know, we got those tests out very quickly and they're not very accurate. They're about 50% accurate. So I think Americans will be a little skeptical to get a vaccine that comes out too fast. Okay, so we're going to have to wait and see how that goes and, and then how it goes over with the American public. Um, let's talk about the mask mandate here in California. We're seeing more and more people getting on board with wearing them now, but there's still a lot of misunderstanding out there. And I think that's because we were told at the beginning of this pandemic not to wear them, that they really wouldn't do anything. Um, can you explain now what we know about masks and the spread of the coronavirus? Absolutely. So what a mask does primary, uh, primarily is to protect the public from the person wearing the mask. It does give you some protection, but it's primarily for the other people. So when you wear a mask, you're hoping not to pass, if you have the virus, not to pass it to other people. Now, if worn incorrectly and you don't have the virus, you can actually get, get the virus. There's a very high risk of getting the virus if not worn pop properly. If you touch your mask, if you wear it on your forehead, if you wear it under your chin, all those masks are now infected. So you've got to wear it properly. You've got to take it off properly. We call it doffing of the mask. We take it off properly and then you got to get it washed, especially after you wear it. And that's because you could be moving it down to your mouth if you move it off. And so again, we're talking about right. stopping droplets from coming out of your mouth going into the general air around you. Absolutely correct. Okay. And what about the concern, you know, people have about, but the virus can fit in. We were told that, you know, really only the N95 masks can keep the virus out effectively. Well, this virus is actually larger than a lot of normal viruses that we see out there. It's larger than the flu, vi flu virus. It's larger than the H1N1. So it, it doesn't go through a lot of the spores that we, where we would think other viruses would go through. So it, it can at least lessen uh, the penetration there. That's right. absolutely correct. Dr. Cothry, thank you so much for being with us again this morning and answering our questions. We appreciate you as always. Thank you, Patty.